Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1111. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in videos 1000, 108, 109, 110, we were comparing two lists and extracting records using filter, advanced filter, and array formula. Now we asked two questions. We either looked at list two and said, is the item not in list one? Or we asked the question, is the item in list two also in list one? Now for the array formula video, there was two formulas. And the one that asked the question, is the item that's in list two also in list one, XLE Adam at YouTube had a great formula that was a lot shorter than the one I showed. Now here's the one I showed. And we have to look up something with index, get a relative position with aggregate. And in this argument, the array argument and aggregate, I did this huge thing. Now for the question, is the item in list two not in list one? Then you have to use a construction like this. And you would actually use is an A. But if you're asking the question, is the item in both lists, we can get away with just using match. Now, we will have to actually change the lookup range. In this formula right here, we had a lookup range and index of list two. But when we do this new formula, we'll be looking through list one. So let's see how to do this. We take match. That's the essential part of any comparing two lists. And in the lookup value argument, instead of giving it a single value, we just give it all the items. Because remember, we're asking the question about list two. Is the item in list two also in list one? I'm going to hit F4. That's a function argument array operation. I gave it a bunch of items, so match will spit out a bunch of relative positions. Now, comma, lookup. We look up in list one, F4, and these are not sorted, so we do exact match. Now, this little part is exactly like the last formula. If I highlight it in F9, match will give me relative positions. That means, where is Joe in the second list? Position one. Where is Fran in the second list? Not available. Where is Kiki? Position nine, relative position nine. Now, if we were asking the question, are you not, then we'd have to deal with the NA by using is NA and then that array for creating relative positions. But check this out. We already have relative positions if we're going to look up something. And aggregate can ignore errors. Now, in the last formula, we had divide by 0. But now we're going to have NA. No problem. Let's use aggregate to pull out those relative positions. Now, aggregate is a substitute for small function. And we will get away with not having to use Control Shift Enter. Remember, uh, that's a function argument array operation, which creates an array of items. So this is an array operation. I'm going to use small. That'll give me, as I copy it down, we'll pull out the first, second, smallest relative position. And the second argument, which is options right there, that's where we use 6. And it will totally ignore the NAs in this array, Control Z. I hit F9 and then Control Z there. All right, now we have to pull for small, the first, second, third smallest as we go down. Hey, I'm just going to click on the number one cell to my left. This will pull out the relative positions using aggregate as a substitute for small. Double click and send it down. Those are the relative positions. Remember, we asked the question, is the item in list two also in list one? But these are the relative positions for list one, F2. So if we're looking them up and extracting, now we use index and the array. It's going to be list one, F4, comma. And there is the relative position or row number. Aggregate will pull it out as we go down. Now, I've edited this, right? Because it doesn't require Control Shift Enter, I can simply repopulate the formula throughout the whole range using Control and Enter. Now we can turn off the num errors. We talked about in uh, 110 up here how we don't want to use if error. But we can say, hey, anytime this position here is greater than the count f4, then we want to show what for value of 2? Hey, show nothing. Double quote, double quote. That's a null text string. Otherwise, run the formula. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And there we go. Look at that. Now, this formula over here gave us a slightly different order. But hey, no problem. It's still got 
all of the items that are in both lists. So thanks to XLE Adam for this much shorter array argument ele element when we're comparing two lists and extracting items in both. All right, we'll see you next video.